Hello there, very good afternoon to you. Winter isn't quite done with us just yet. Warnings in force for the weekend. As far as this afternoon is concerned, though, it's not looking too bad at all. A little bit breezy in places with the odd spot of sunshine and temperatures just about holding up. Highs of around 10 in Celsius. A calm and quiet start then as we head through this evening. Some clear skies developing. And then into the second part of the night, it's all changed. The cloud will arrive and we'll see the first batch of wet weather pushing into western areas. And you can see from the blues and greens, some really heavy prolonged downpours. Breezy in places but actually a mild night frost free with lows of around five or six in Celsius but as I said we have weather warnings in force for tomorrow for snow with uh, rain hitting cold air with some significant accumulations over the higher ground. Well, there is still plenty ahead for you this evening. Ruth has the forecast for you and a little bit more as well. I do indeed, yes. Snow and ice warnings are in force, can you believe? And it's back. The big garden bird watch begins as we're all asked to keep an eye out for our feathered friends. That's all coming up uh, very shortly. Um, Ruth's here now. You, you've got the weather forecast, yes. I know that. But um, you're also talking about birds and maybe something to complement homeschooling. Well, I think, quite frankly, it's about time we had something slightly more cheerful, isn't it? Yes, today has seen the start of this year's Big Garden Bird Watch, when we're all asked to count all the bird species that we see outside our windows. And with the whole of Wales, of course, still in a third national lockdown, the annual event run by RSPB Cymru is expected to see more of us get involved than ever before. Well, Hannah Thomas has already been filming some feathered friends in her back garden. And are doing her best there to do some bird watching. <laughs> and the headline on that item, I think, is that Hannah Thomas is not quiet. That might come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> From I don't the, think. The work with her, yes. Um, <laughs> but will the yeah. birds be quiet? Because there's snow on the way. There is, yeah. I think actually, if ever there was a weekend to keep an eye on those bird tables and bird feeders, it's going to be this one because winter isn't quite finished with us just yet. Temperatures, as we head through the next few days, are absolutely going to plummet. As we run the sequence through, you can see all the blue air that starts flooding its way in and that effectively is coming down from the north and that means that temperatures are really going to tumble. So much so that we have wet weather in the forecast and we have a number of weather warnings in force for you. So let's start with tomorrow's warning and this effectively covers much of Wales. Uh, it runs from tomorrow morning and it does mean that we could over the higher ground see between 10 to 15 centimetres of the white stuff settling and that is certainly enough to cause disruption. And then looking ahead, even even more weather warnings and these run from Monday for snow and ice. As I said, winter very much in the air out there. Well, I think just by looking at this map, you get the general idea. It is a very messy weather story to tell. Not one single area of high pressure, low pressure, very much the dominant feature. And that means a wet weather. In fact, a swirling mess of it skirting across the south of the UK as we head through the weekend, only to be replaced then by another swirling mess. So it is going to be very, very unsettled. But it is that combination of wet weather and the easterly airflow that means that we will see snow in the forecast. It's just that time of the year where those two meet. And uh, as I said, we are keeping an eye into next week too with snow and possibly freezing rain not something we've had here that often but certainly not particularly pleasant conditions more on that nearer the time out there at the moment not too bad the calm before the proverbial storm if you like because quite quickly the cloud will start to build and the blues and greens show the heavy rain the frontal system that will push its way in tracking northwards and eastwards so by the time most of us wake to Saturday morning almost everyone will be in line for something of a soaking and you can see already where it's turned white it's that combination of cold air over the hills and mountains with snow falling and settling temperatures tonight even though they're going to be cold there's too much movement in the air so snow yes over the hills and mountains but it should be a frost free night ice free too a little bit breezy in places certainly out towards coastal fringes 20 to 30 miles an hour not a particularly pleasant start then to tomorrow morning i think it is safe to say the best chance of seeing any drier weather is going to be down towards the far southwest elsewhere well what can i say winter very much the order of the day with that snow falling and settling even at lower levels the weather warning is in force for much of the day a brisk wind as well that easterly airflow again gusting 30 miles an hour so actually as the day wears on the temperatures if anything will start to drop away a relatively mild start but by the time we get to the afternoon we're looking at highs of just three or four in south it's saturday night into sunday morning is going to be bitterly cold frosty and icy so yeah i think if ever there was a weekend to keep the bird feeders full um this is going to be it winter yeah. not done with us just yet they're going to need it's it cold. aren't they um yeah, yeah and be careful out there in the snow and the ice as well Absolutely, yeah, dangerous yeah.